Lesson 1.10 Numerical Expressions from Words We can use a numerical expression to describe a situation or solve a word problem. We use clue words to help us decide which operation we need to use. We decide which order the operations need to be completed and write an expression. If there's more than one operation, we use parentheses around the first operation to be completed. A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that has numbers and operation signs but does not have an equal sign. So here are some numerical expressions. Here are some equations. No equal sign, equal sign. For choosing the operation, we use addition to join groups or amounts. We use subtraction to take away a group or amount. And we multiply to combine equal groups or amounts. And we divide to break a group or amount into equal parts. We can write an expression to match the words using clue words for operation signs. So for addition, we would have expressions written from Things like, there are 16 students in the chess club and two more join. Because more are joining, we would write 16 plus 2. That would be the students in the club now. Mrs. Kim baked 12 dozen cookies and 6 dozen cupcakes. Because it says and, we can write 12 plus 6 for the dozens that were baked. Sophia has 5 apples. She buys 3 more. Because she buys more, we do 5 plus 3. That's the apples she has now. For subtraction, Sarah has 10 pencils. She gives Tala 4. Gives tells us to subtract. We have 10 minus 4 for the pencils Sarah has now. Sanjay has 36 jelly beans. He eats 10. Eats tells us we're taking some away. That's 36 minus 10 jelly beans he has now. Mr. Park has 50 envelopes. He uses 20 to mail party invitations. We have 50 minus 20 because he uses 20. It's the envelopes he has now. For multiplication, Emma saw four frogs. Tala saw twice as many as Emma. That would be four times two because twice as many tells us times two. That's the frogs Tala saw. Sarah bought three shirts. We would use multiplication, three times $20 for the cost of the three shirts. There are five boxes of cookies with 12 cookies in each box. The of cookies with 12 in each box, we have five times 12. And generally when you see the word of, that's for multiplication. That's how many cookies are in five boxes. For division, there are 12 cupcakes. Six students share them equally. Because they share them equally, we know they need to be put into equal groups. We write 12 divided by 6. That's how many cupcakes they each got. A pizza was cut into 8 slices. Each person ate 2. Because each ate 2, we divide 8 by 2. We have 8 divided by 2 for how many people ate pizza. Mr. Kim planted 56 tulips in seven rows. We need to split it equally in seven rows. That's 56 divided by seven. That's how many tulips in each row. We always do operations within parentheses first. The meaning of the words in a problem will tell you where to place the parentheses in an expression. We can match an expression to the words, Tala babysits for four days, each day she earns $20, puts $18 in her bank, and spends the rest. How much does she spend? We think we need to find the difference of how much she earned and saved for four days. 20 minus 18, $20 minus $18, this expression represents one day. She's earning 20 and putting 18 into the bank. Because it's for four days, we write four times and $20 minus $18 in parentheses because we need to find this first. 
This expression represents four days. That would be four times two dollars. Tala went on vacation to Hawaii for seven days. Each day she collected three leopard cones and two marbled cone shells. How many shells did Tala collect on her vacation? So three plus two, she collected three and two, that would be one day. She did it for seven days, we have seven times, and three plus two in parentheses. That's how many shells were collected for seven days. We need to make sure to place the parentheses correctly. Some operations may be performed differently than the order they are presented in the problem. We find how many shells she found in one day, then multiply by the number of days. On Monday, Mr. Lee sold 12 apples. He then sold 10 apples a day for six days. The 10 apples a day for six days is 10 times six. And we add the 12 that he sold on Monday. We could also write 10 times six first and then do plus 12. That's the 10 for six days. And then we add the 12 he sold on Monday. So the 12 apples are separate from the 10 a day for six days. We need to compute the amount he sold in six days, then include the 12 he sold on Monday. Mrs. Kim baked 24 cupcakes. She sold six to Tala and four to Emma. We add the six plus four that she sold, and then we perform the 24 minus the amount she sold. That's how many she had left. We need to compute the number sold, then find the difference between the amount baked and sold. We do in the parentheses first. So if we're told to write words to match the expression or expressions, we have 12 minus seven, we can write there were 12 birds and seven flew away. That would match 12 minus seven. We could write, I had 12 candies and ate seven. That would represent 12 minus seven. Or I had 12 apples and sold seven. If we have 12 divided by three, we can write 12 people arrived in three cars. If we do 12 divided by three, we'll know how many people were in each car. We could write 12 candies were shared by three friends. We write 12 divided by three, we know how many candies each friend got. We can write, I used a dozen eggs to make three loaves of bread. 12 divided by three would tell us, because there's 12 in a dozen, how many eggs we used for each loaf. So these are some examples of what you can write to fit expressions like 12 minus seven or 12 divided by three. And you can think of your own. We always perform operations within parentheses first. Here we have 20 minus 18 in parentheses, and we're going to multiply it times 4. Doing the parentheses first, 20 minus 18 is 2. Now we do 4 times 2. That's equal to 8. If we compute left to right with no parentheses, we would have 4 times 20, which is 80. Then we would subtract 18. That would be 62. Here we have four times five, we do in parentheses first, that's 20. Then we add two, that's equal to 22. If we compute left to right with no parentheses, we have two plus four, which is six, times five. Six times five is 30. And actually, this order of operations wouldn't be done this way because in the order of operations, we multiply or divide, then we add or subtract but parentheses help tell us what to do first. Sophia made 10 bracelets on Friday. She made 12 more on Saturday, then sold seven on Saturday afternoon. We can write 10 for Friday plus the 12 she made on Saturday and subtract the seven she sold. So we can write this expression without parentheses and compute the answer left to right and we'll get the correct answer. So the most important thing to remember is to place your parentheses correctly. Your parentheses would go around the operation that needs to be done first. In our next lesson, 1.11,
we're going to evaluate numerical expressions and we're going to talk about the order of operations. Stay focused, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.